So today we're going to try to work out a solar system for the runaway camper. And what I have is I have this portable Renogy panel. It's a 100 watt solar. And what I want to do is I want to work out something where I've got this up in the front. I can set it up here. I can take it out as I get to the campsite. And I'm actually going to have some way to, to actually put bolts on here with a clamp. That way it won't blow away. And I don't have to worry about it. someone running around and taking it. That's the main thing I worry about. I don't want to just set it out. If I'm away from the campsite, I want to have that attached to the camper in some way. Plus to keep it from blowing away. Obviously, if someone wants to steal it bad enough, they'll come down and take the boats off and steal it. But I'm hoping by doing that, it'll be somewhat permanent while I'm in the campsite. And then I can take it back down. So I'm going to use two U-clamps up here on the top here and here and then I'm also going to make a hole here with the SAE connector that'll connect that way I can plug it in and it'll tie into my system so we're going to work at it work these issues out and see how well it works out I got to get that out and get it up on top there and see how well it's going to fit now some people would say well why don't you just get another make a permanent panel out there and that would be the case but I've already got this panel so I want to make it work and so it comes in this little case like this. It's what they call suitcase kind. I've got a video of when I use this system. I've actually got it set up to where I can actually charge my jockery with it as well. So we're going to take this out and it, it folds in half here. And we're going to see how well it fits up on top. So this is a rough idea of what I think I might be working on here. It's, like I said, this panel, I don't think I want to leave it out here all the time. I don't think it would hold up well in the weather. But it, as I get to a location, I want to be able to take it out and put it up here on the rack. And if I want to use it as a portable, I can still have the, the portable set it up on the ground somewhere. But if I'm going to go out hiking or something, I want to have a way of attaching it. So what I'm looking to do is I'm going to put a rack, a little U-boat on here and put probably two nuts on here that way it'll actually screw in i'll put a nut on there probably buy some wing nuts be a little easier to install maybe throw one over on the far side there that just keeps it from blowing off while it's sitting up here and this works out pretty good too because this core comes out and uh it's already i got a set up here where i'm probably going to drill the hole here and put the uh the attachment point here and it's just going to reach just about right for here so I've kind of like what I'm doing up here on the top, but I'm not sure this is probably going to be a future project for right now. I'm going to concentrate on just getting the hole through here and setting this up as a, as a portable system. And I'll probably get back to that in the future. Like I said, I tried a couple clamps. I'm not really happy with what I got there, so I'm going to have to work that issue out in the future. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and drill our hole here, get our setup where we can at least use it in a portable so it's always nerve-wracking drilling into a practically brand new camper but we've got the hole drilled there we used a 13 16 inch and this is going to have our setup here this is what i've got we've got a setup here for sae it's going to go through i'm going to put some silicone around this and then screw it in like that that's going to be our tie-in for our solar. It will go directly to the battery. So I'm not the neatest person in the world. So I got this all taped off because I'm going to use some white silicone on here to seal it. I already pre-drilled some holes here for my screws. I'm going to put a bead of silicone on, on inside. Screw it down and then probably put an edge around the outside as well. That in there and I just got that plugged in just to see that made sure it plugged in it barely reaches 
so I gotta be a little careful when I do put it up on the roof but when I use it out here on the out here on this outside it should be fine so anyway I'm gonna go inside now and do the hookup got to make sure you know where the where your positive is in this case it's red and it goes down and it's to this inside right here you see this was one plug here so I got to make sure on the inside it matches up because some of these were reversed depending on the so, uh, solar system so I got to make sure I've got the positive in, in the right place oh in the inside here I do have that positive in the right place it's the forward of the trailer and so it's coming in here so I do have it positive and like I say sometimes you have to reverse these with one of these tools right here but in this case I don't need that but I'm going to need this for some of my other hookups so now we're going to get some wires and go from this to terminals connections on my battery and it'll directly feed that battery and it does have a solar controller so you don't want to put a panel directly into your battery without a solar controller so that's up on the roof yeah I brought this in I've teed it off I'm just using household wire nuts for now but I'll probably work out some better connector at one point probably some kind of a heat shrink or something on this eventually I, my only concern, and this is probably not my concern, but someone else, I want to note that you see the heavy gauge I'm bringing in, and I'm coming in on a smaller gauge wire here. Now, my solar panel is only 100 watts, probably puts out less than 4 or 5 amps. I think this will be fine with that. I'm just needing to check that to make sure. But if you're going to have a bigger panel up there, you might want to check it and have a heavier gauge going in through here. And I may actually swap this out and go to a heavier gauge too because I just want to try this out for now. And I'm going to go ahead and hook them up to my terminals here and then see how my solar is working to charge the battery. So I've got those hooked up. I'm going to take my panel off the roof. That way I can monitor my solar controller and see what we're getting here with the charge. So there you have it. I plugged it in. Like I say, this is going to be solar on the side is basically what it's going to be set up as. And here's my controller. So I went ahead and set that for my, my battery type. And it's actually running the charge. It's saying it's three quarters full. And it's actually charging as we speak. And it'll actually go through here. And you see the amps. It's barely point, putting an amp into it at, at this point. So that's about all I have on this video. Like I say, this was just a hookup of the solar on the side. And eventually I'm going to actually set up something on the roof here. And we'll get another video for that when I set that up. But for now, we've got it at least set up to where we can go out and we can at least set this thing up and get some solar charging out of it. So that was a pretty easy thing to do there. And uh, just took a few wires that I had hooked up and I'm pretty happy with that. And I already had this solar panel set up for Renogy. So uh, it wasn't too hard for me to get it going. So thanks for watching. And uh, if you have any questions on this installation, let me know in the comments. And we'll talk to you again on another RV short.